This is a true story about a social experiment that I'm conducting right now on buses and tubes and in shops all around London and indeed the UK. Are you ready to hear about the secret social experiment? Yeah. Yeah. And you need to all be on board with this. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. So I am tired of the way that uh, smartphones and iPads and all that crap is encroaching on my personal space. And sometimes also, uh, my personal conversations are encroaching, encroaching on other people's space. So you'd be on like the bus or in a shop or wherever on the tube and people are sort of making personal phone calls and you overhear things like, yeah, man, and you're like, oh God, it's so gross. Like, you have to overhear everyone's <laughs> life now. It's part of your life. You're like, welcome, this is it. No, it's not. And I'm telling you about this secret social experiment by way of personal insurance, and this will become apparent why in a minute. And um, I, uh, um, this is what I've been doing. I'll get on a really busy bus, uh, and in this case, more often than not, it's the 73 through Stoke Newington. Huh, Stoke Newington message? <laughs> no one, just me. <laughs> I was stuck in a patisserie. Okay, so, uh, except for you, you made it. Um, so, I'll be on the number 97, uh, it's number 73 bus. I'll jump on the chartered bus and I'll sit on the back seat, and then I make this fake phone call. Just pick up my phone, hold it to my ear, and go, Yes, sir. Yes, I'm nearly there. Yes, I, no, I, I'm coming, I swear. I swear, don't hurt him, no. Oh, I come, I do it, I, I will do it. I do it. Yes, detonate, yes, seven, one, okay. Okay, okay, Brain cross shopping said, oh, no, I love that, Argos, okay. Okay, I, I, please don't let, okay, I will do it, goodbye. And then I hang up and I sit there stoically weeping, looking out a window. And people look at me, you know that they've heard you, like they put down their book. They sort of stop talking to their friend, they stop texting, and they're like, oh my god, what's going on over here? And give it a minute, and then I make another fake phone, come up, a phone call, and I'll be like, yeah, hey, nearly at the pub, yep, see you there, cool, bye. And people are like, what the fuck? <laughs> so this is one I've conducted a lot. And it's going quite well. And by that I mean, oh my God, what is wrong with us? I'm trying to find a moral benchmark and there isn't one. And um, I'll be on the same crowd of bus. And I'll go through my iPhone's ringtone settings and I'll set off a ringtone. And then I'll stop it and I'll pretend to answer the phone. I'll go, hey baby. Yeah, how you going? Mm, yeah, can't wait to see you. And it's funny because yeah, you see everyone within an eight person radius go, oh my God, start nudging each other. Somebody's getting to second base. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. What are you cooking? Oh, yeah. Sounds sexy. And I don't know what that is. I just throw that in because I really <laughs> love knowing that they're thinking, what the fuck is he cooking? <laughs> Sausages, got to be. All right. Whatever. I'll be like, yeah, I'm about five minutes away. Yeah. Yeah, I brought dessert. Yeah, no food, just boobs. Yeah. <laughs> mm, can't wait to see. Yeah, five minutes. Mm, yeah, bye, bye, bye. Then hang up the phone. And then I quietly go through my ringtone settings and I set off the same ringtone and I quickly pretend to answer it and I go, yeah, hey babe, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, working late again, <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. And then I'm aware, right, because it's, it's amazing looking at people now, still nobody has said anything to me ever, 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 ever. That's our moral benchmark, there isn't one. People are just like, what is she, what? And you see, like, people are well into like, gossiping amongst each other now. They're, like, nudging it. Oh, my God, this bitch, right? <laughs> and I'm aware that to make it plausible, right? Because you can hear the sort of engine noises, the sort of rumbling sounds of the bus. I'll throw in a bit of this. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry, babe. I know. Yeah, what's that? Oh, that's just the coffee machine here at work. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. If the bus goes ding, ding, I'm like, oh, my latte's ready. Bye. <laughs> and I've started answering that call like this. Just to make sure if there's anyone on that bus I haven't got, I get them on this sign. Yeah, sorry, babe. Okay. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, kiss the kids for me. Okay. <laughs> people are like, what? Oh my God. I have seen people on the bus taking pictures of me. <laughs> That's a thing. That's, this is why I'm telling you. Because six degrees of separation, one of you is going to be like, isn't that the, my cousin texting me about this chick. She's having an affair. It's fine. It's fine. Um, 
I've been getting a little bit cocky with this experiment. <laughs> I was up at the Edinburgh Fringe in August and um, I tried it in Scotland and the results were different. <laughs> People will talk to you. <laughs> uh, so I got on a bus in broad daylight, 4 p.m. one afternoon, and I have introduced props because it's fun. <laughs> I have a six pack of Heineken, and I walked up and I sat in the back row in on a busy bus, in broad daylight, and I sat down there, and then I proceeded to make a fake phone call, and it went like this: Hey, baby! Oh my God! Yes, yes, yes. I couldn't wait till I got home. Yes. your mom till we've had the scan. No, okay, okay, okay. I love you. I love you. I'll talk for five minutes. I'll see you then. Okay, bye. 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 Just hang out the phone. And then just slowly reach for a high. And start drinking. And guess what? Nobody said anything, but everybody was looking. They're like, oh my god. I got through two Heinekens, three Heinekens, and on my fourth Heineken, it happened. I was hammered by now. And a lady, uh, midway down the bus, stood up and started walking towards me, and everyone was nudging each other, looking at me, going, oh my god, there she is, there she is. I was like, oh, here we go. You knew that they were like all championing this lady to fucking get me or something. I was like, oh shit. I was at actually a little bit scared <laughs> and she kind of looked like she's maybe sort of middle-aged sort of nice cardigan sort of quite friendly mumsy sort of looking type but had this face like thunder and I was like oh shit <laughs> and she walks down the center and everyone's craning around and she gets to me she goes excuse me and I'm like uh yeah and she goes I couldn't help but overhear your phone call and and I, I heard what you said and I was like uh uh -huh. she goes and I just want to say I was like, cheers. <laughs> so that's our benchmark. Uh, Alright, Scotland. Also, I tried it coming to town, and this is another way you can get stopped by people. Strangely, it's not what you would expect. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm on the bus. Yeah, just heading to town. Yeah, yeah, Soho. Yeah, just get off at Soho station. Yeah, Soho. It's Zone 4. You just buy a weekly ticket to Zone 4. Yes, Soho Station. It's fucking great. Because people come up and go, excuse me, sorry. It's, there's no... So I'm sorry. That is, don't mean to be rude, but it's not Zone 4. That's it. Travel is fun. <laughs> Fuck the kids. Fuck my imaginary husband. You don't care about him. You know what's really interesting, right? Obviously, I'm not having an affair, but I'm telling you this so that you can spread it in case you hear that I am. I'm not. But if I was, this whole routine would be an excellent alibi. I'm Sarah Bonetto. Good night.